Hi, this is Bip from Saxon. If you're not in the know, you're in the nothing, whatever that is. But yeah, you wouldn't want to be there, would you? So you got to be in the know. What's up in the now friends and family sitting here with Biff from Saxon on their tour bus here at the Chameleon Room in Oklahoma City. Uh, just going to catch up on a few things uh, about the tour and uh, the recording process with the new label and what they're going to do in 2014. So Biff, uh, how's the tour coming along so far? It's going great. Uh, can't, can't really complain. Uh, I've had some great shows and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's successful up to now. Um, but yeah, we're happy. You know, we haven't done a coast to coast American tour for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's great. A lot of people are coming coming to see the band, you know, a lot of old fans and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. different things, you know, it's great. That's a lot excellent. of younger fans as well. Of course, of course. So uh it looks like you're touring out with Fozzie on this current segment on their Sin yeah. Bones tour. Yeah. And uh they're going out west. Are you accompanying them out towards uh the west coast and then Canada, I think, for the last Yeah, part? Our, our last show is Vancouver. Okay. Because we have to get back to UK and okay. Europe to do tour. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. We're gonna full tour with them. You know, there's them and Alcyon Way, mm -hmm. the first band, then Fozzie, then Saxon. So yeah, it's going really well. No, that's excellent. So you're saying uh, you'll be out into the UK again. Obviously, the home turf coming out from South Yorkshire. You know, <laughs> uh, back in the day, uh, many decades later. Where do you find that you're most at home when you go back to the UK? If I were to ask you, uh, well, I live in Yorkshire now, okay. which is my home uh, county. Mm -hmm. you know? But um, I spent eight years in France, so I do. I have moved around a bit. Mm -hmm. I used to mm -hmm. live in. Uh, the Pocono Mountains for a while as well. Oh wow! So yeah, I do. I've moved around a lot, and uh, yeah, I've had fun really. You know, mm -hmm. wherever I've been, so um, can't really grumble. You know. Understood. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, when you go back, do you find yourself looking for uh, a, a little bit of downtime, perhaps? Is that put into your schedule, or do you? Are you guys? Yeah, gonna... we will have downtime. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, spend time with the family and uh, and just do family things. You know, mm -hmm. like. And go swimming or go off for a short break somewhere. So, you know, we get as much, spend, spend as much time as we can with the family when we're back. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, this year and last year we're pretty busy. No, that makes perfect sense. Do the rest of the band members of Saxon, uh, do you all tend to go to the Four Winds, so to speak? or? Yeah, we all, we all tend to sh shoot off after the tour mm -hmm. from the airport, we say, you know. <laughs> I still live history. And then, um, <laughs> yeah. and then you know, we, we go off, do our own thing, mm -hmm. and then couple of weeks before we you know a week before we're needed right, right right we get in touch with each other it depends if we're writing if we're writing then we'll get back together fairly soon of course but you know I talk to everybody at least twice a day mm -hmm. you know by email or or Facebook or in person to person so yeah yeah it does make it a bit uh, easier to stay in touch with the social networking uh, nowadays you know with Twitter and yeah Twitter, I mean you're in yeah. instant contact aren't you with people immediately mm -hmm. so you know we use the we use the internet really well and coming from you know a time before all of this was even around, I mean, do you find it's easier to stay in touch with fans now using social media? Would you say or? Ah, oh, yeah, it's definitely some, easier. Yeah, much easier. <clears throat> you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I think uh, I think more people come to the come to the concerts because of it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, just generally, um, just generally, we've grown up with the with the internet age and the digital age, so mm -hmm. we just slid straight in there. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not. Um, we're not sort of uh, ambassadors of analog or anything. <laughs> no, course, you know, we, we embrace the new technology. You very have well, to. Yeah, very much so. You're right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Otherwise, and you can reach a, a fan base you potentially could not have or may not have, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, bit. you know, people mm -hmm. what, what what on YouTube in in, in China and places, mm -hmm. you know, and down in India, and uh, you know, some of our songs like Crusader, mm -hmm. they've had over two million hits. You know, so it's a lot of people. Yeah, you know. that's true. That's true. So, uh, working. Uh, who's the current label you're you're working with right now? Well, we're working with a German label called UDR, mm -hmm. and we're released uh, in America with EMI. Okay. So. And how's that relationship going now? Do you find with uh, with NMI or on the? Uh, well, it, it's going well in America. We have mm -hmm. we have a whole department that just does social media. Mm -hmm. You know, that just does. Um, you know, we're going to start Twitch, a Twitter thing. Uh, I'll probably start that when we hit the Monterey Road, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, you don't see how many followers I can get. No, but, uh, you know, uh, so, but I podcast all the time, you know, I did one in San Antonio a couple of days ago. I see. I so, see. you know. And uh, so do you find, um, other than the music, which is a larger part of all of your lives, uh, what do you find that you like to do 
in your downtime, you know, like you said, when you get a chance to go with the family um, and things, is there anything in particular? Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I like to work out at the gym and I'll go running or biking, depends on what the weather's like in England. Mm -hmm. um, you know, me and my wife are big, big walkers, so we'll take the dogs up onto the sea, you know, onto the mm -hmm. cliffs and things. I do a lot of that. Oh, very so nice. a lot of my day is spent, uh, you know, uh, just trying to keep keep fit really no that makes perfect sense and now uh, do you find yourself perhaps uh, missing the music in a sense where you seek out going to say a music venue a concert on your own perhaps seeing uh, yeah I, like I don't go more. I usually go mm -hmm. when my son was 15 so we went we've been to see mm -hmm. quite a few bands mm -hmm. you know we went to see I took him to see a Ramstein oh, wow, and yeah. we went to see it's a um, brilliant show isn't it with the, fantastic the, show I know guys from Ramstein good friends uh, I mean the great guys mm -hmm. I mean, you know they really hammered it Mm -hmm. For a long time. Yeah, they put on a killer show download this year. It was yeah, amazing. and you know they, they, you know they can sing German all over the world. Yeah. Works seems to work. Yeah. You know, so which it's is true. great. Uh, but um, I think I think uh, we went. I went to see the Who. Oh wow! You know, in, in London, I was invited amazing. to see the, the charity show they did, and um, just generally, a lot of bands come through that part of Yorkshire where I live. Mm -hmm. So you know, I usually go. Actually, I know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I've got. A girl as well, so she goes off and sees, you know, Rihanna or Pink course, or whatever she wants yeah, to see. Yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. we're pretty much out there, but there there isn't a massive club scene where I am. Mm -hmm. You know, as uh, my son plays guitar and drums, so right. he, he, I go and watch him in a few pubs here and there. Right, no, that makes yeah. sense. How does that uh, how does that feel? I mean, you're coming back to you know when you go to the UK, you played at Monsters of Rock, download you know many of these larger venues all throughout and festivals. I mean, throughout of Europe, you know Europe. And then, uh, you know, here you are in the U.S. playing like these club gigs, if you will. Yeah. Uh, when you go back to the U.K., do you find that you can go right back into the club circuit in a sense? Or does it depend on the tour? Or are, is Saxon well, still have a presence, would you say? The you know? Most of the gigs we do mm -hmm. in, in, in the U.K. and Europe now mm -hmm. would be theaters. I see. A bit like sort of House of Blues. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple of thousand people. Mm -hmm. And then in London, we'll do venues that hold about three and a half, four thousand. Mm -hmm. um, and in, in Europe it's about the same, you know, we'll but the thing is we talk we do a lot of we're a lot of towns. You know, we're we're one of those bands that takes the music to the people. Mm -hmm. We don't play one big show and, mm -hmm. and let them come to us. So we do a lot of different towns, you know. We'll right. do eighteen shows in the UK. Right, right. You know, twenty seven shows in Germany. Mm -hmm. So we you know we're a, we're a band that tour. Yeah. So you know, we go to small towns. We take them to the village halls. Yeah. So you know, we 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 mix it up really. You know, we play a festival in front of eighty thousand, and then the next day we'll be playing in Holland in front of, you know, fifteen hundred. Right. So we're a very adaptable band. That's amazing. You know, and Saxon coming out. I mean, you here you are founding. You know, uh, the band back in the mid seventies. We'll say you know, uh, uh, and up till now. How do you find that uh, Saxon is moving forward from the sound of of the seventies to now? Well, like, I, what I can, think, in I another think, way to explain it, how what uh, could fans expect as a sound in 2014 from Saxon? Well, the thing is, we, you know, every every year and a half we have a new album, mm -hmm. so we're pushing those sounds forward mm -hmm. all the time on the, on the on the sort of edge of technology. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this new album we tried to get more into a 80s spirit of writing, um, which we did, but we use the modern edge. You know, we're using uh, we're using these new. Uh, Profile is now called Kemper. Mm -hmm. They're not that popular yet, right, but right. they will be. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we just took our album sounds on a stick, mm -hmm. put it in this Kemper. Yeah. So tonight you'll hear the sounds of the album. Excellent. No, looking so, forward you know, to. So we're it. looking top te technology. Not many yeah. bands are using them yet, but they're going to really catch on. But hence the edge of music, isn't it? It's always changing. Because an edge of music, yeah. yeah. No, very much it's so. A little box. It looks, looks like a mm -hmm. looks like something off a nineteen. 50s sci-fi right. thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. So no, that's that's excellent. Uh, look, and we're we're pushing it through Marshalls, mm -hmm. so you get the same effect. Yeah, you know, the, the classic sound coming from a Marshall yeah. stack. That makes sense. And then, um, if I were to ask you, if uh, you know, like I said, you you have all been uh, evolved through the through the decades, you know, with music and toured with so many people. Who would be your personal uh, influences, say, in music, just any genre? You know, if I were to ask you, say, one of uh, one or two of your top three. Artists, uh, well, it depends because obviously we've been around a long time, right? But I think in the early it. days, I think I like the Kinks, for, oh, you know. I very like awesome. That. I yeah. like, I like bands with a bit of an edge, you know. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I wasn't too keen on, you know, the Liverpool thing. I, I was just going to ask. It wasn't really my thing. Yeah, I, I like yeah. the Beatles and things, mm -hmm. but I was more, you know, I was more 
mm-hmm. into the sort of rougher, rougher edge, you know, the guys that looked mm-hmm. a bit, you know, mm, you know. Exactly, hence the edge. Bit of an edge, you know. Exactly. Um, you know, pretty things, bands like that. Ah, and nice. then, you know, Rolling Stones, Zeppelin, then most of all, you know, the other mm-hmm. early Zap, early Sabbath, you know, I was into into a lot of American bands like Grand Funk Railroad, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Black Hawk, Arkansas, Mountain. Wow. First okay. Montrose album was a Bible for us. Wow. You know, that was a really groundbreaking album. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know. So yeah, you know, we, we had lots of influences. Well, that's excellent. And so lastly, if I were to ask you, uh, what was based on, you know, uh, you've got a wide variety of musical interests. If I were to ask you who or what was the last artist or song you heard uh, prior to say, you know, coming inside for this venue today, sound check, you know, Waking uh, up this Gold morning. Frap. Really? Yeah. Gold Frap? All right, which track from Gold to, Frap? This yeah, is... I was just listening to the album, the first track. Oh, excellent, track. excellent. Wow. So, you know, um, yeah. the thing is with those, we're not, um, you know, we, we like all music. Right. And um, It's a very, very good You know, choice. we don't really get into uh, hip-hop and rap. You know, but we quite like melodic stuff, and mm-hmm. we quite like, uh, you know, we're, we're, me and Paul were heavy prog rockers in our day. Mm-hmm. So we like a lot of, um, you know, stuff that, 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 um, that you know, Creates a mood, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. That's what we're into, right? And um, we don't do it too much in our music. Now and again, we'll we'll get moody, you know, in, in some of our ballads that we do. But uh, but that you know anything really, we, you know, we're not, um, you know, we're not just, um, you know, we, we we are denim and leather warriors, obviously. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, we listen to all sorts of things. I mean, if it, in our books, if it's good and catches your ear, then listen to it. That makes sense. You know? Yeah, that makes sense, and it could influence potentially other types of music from yourselves down the road you just never know yeah no, no, you, you know. just never know. You know well excellent well Biff thank you so much for your time I don't want to take too much yeah. of it looking forward to uh, Saxon rocking the stage here with Fozzie shortly at the Chameleon <laughs> Room so a lot lots to see with these guys coming up not going anywhere anytime soon so you'll uh, be seeing Saxon around for yeah. a bit here so thanks again cool. in the now Biff we'll catch take you later <laughs>